Good morning. Hope all's well with you today. Today is Wednesday and the middle of the week and I hope your week is going well. You've probably been watching a lot of things that have been happening all around. Uh, so we're delighted you could join us this morning. If you're watching us in the morning, sometimes people are watching in the evening. That's fine. Glad that you could be with us. Um, and please find the other things and encourage others to join us. We're delighted to have them come and uh, just share just a few thoughts this morning. Are you a patient person? Well, our patience is being tried right now. We have a cooktop stove um, and we have had the re we're having the repairman come out here this morning and it will be their fifth visit and they can They've replaced parts. They've done all kinds of things. It's still not working right. And this is a replacement stove I've already put in. Um, fortunately, it was a high-end one, so it was very expensive. Um, and it's still under its one-year warranty. The other one that went belly up that we had to have them come out and look at, it was just outside of its warranty of one year. So now we are faced with this again. And it's trying my patience, trying my patience. And I'm trying to, and it is tough, not only dealing with the computer online when you're trying to set up an appointment or you get caught in those endless loops and you just want to scream into the, uh, scream into the phone and tell that computer, can you please put on a human? Well, anyway, uh, in 1 Corinthians 11, there is where Paul admonishes us and he said I'm praying for you and one of the things that Paul said in 1 Corinthians 1 was in verse 11 he said I'm praying being strengthened by all power that his glorious might might be may have great endurance and patience in us great endurance and patience it's hard times to be patient well, the story goes, years ago, there was a young man who wanted to go to India as a missionary. And so he was applying and in New London at the London Missionary Society. And he got word from Mr. Wilkes, who was going to interview him. And so he, Mr. Wilkes uh, said to him, uh, I'd like to see you tomorrow morning for an interview at 6 a.m., 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. Well, the man, young man lives some miles away, so he quickly got up real early in the morning, and sure, right at six o'clock, he knocked on the door, and he went in to see them. Well, he was ushered into a, into the waiting room, receiving room of the house, and he sat, and he waited, and he waited, and waited, um, sat, sat there until mid-morning. And finally, Mr. Wilkes came in and said, thank you very much. He didn't say apologize for anything. He just came in and he sat, sat down and he said, uh, young man, do you want to be a missionary? And the young man says, well, yes, I very much do. And do you love the Lord Jesus Christ? And the young man says, oh, yes, I love the young, I love Lord very, very much. Do you have any education? And the young man said, well, yes, I have some. I have some education to do that. He said, well, uh, let me see. Can you spell the word cat? And the young man kind of took back and, well, yeah. And finally said, C-A-T, cat. Oh, very good, very good. And can you spell the word dog? And the young man, all right. D-O-G, dog. Well, very right, right. I can see that your spelling is good. And, uh, and how about your, your arithmetic? So I said, what is two plus two? And the young man said, well, four. Two plus two is four. Well, very, very good. And he said, all right, thank you very much. We will get back in touch with you. So after the young man left, the uh, Mr. Wilkes gave his report to the committee and he said, I cordially recommend this young man, his testimony and character I have duly examined. I see that I tried his self-denial and that he was up early in the morning and I tried his patience by keeping him waiting 
and I tried his humility and temper by insulting his intelligence, and my conclusion is he will do just fine. <laughs> so I'm going, all right, I'm going to have to wait for this, um, for this um, repair guy, for this fifth time to try to come and repair and to make it right. Well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what they have to say. But it does try my patience after all the time. I've even been stood up three times um, when they made an appointment and then didn't show. Of course, it, it, they can't do it the other way, you know, where they would reverse and say, uh, well, you better not stand us up. We better come. We'll charge you. If we... Well, what a waste of a morning and days I've had. All right. Patience, being patient is a good lesson for me to learn. Dear Lord, teach us patience. We thank you for that gift that you give us. I thank you that Paul prayed for us, that we would have patience, be enduring, long-suffering. We thank you for the tests that come, I suppose, that teach us patience, but it is something that you've called upon us. It is the door and a comfort of wisdom. Be with us today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. As I practice patience, I'll let you know how it goes.